Okay, good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd. This is our policy and personnel committee uh, meeting. I'd like to have a um, call to order and ask Amber to provide the attendance by roll call. Thank you. Um, Britt Marie Cole Johnson. Britt Marie has not yet joined us. Daryl Dzinski. Present. Good morning, Daryl. Um, let's see, who else do we have? Holly, Holly Williams. Present. Mike Soltis. Present. And Eva Bermuda Zimmerman. Present. I see you, Eva, thank you. Daryl, we have a quorum. Excellent, thank you. I'd like to acknowledge any of our public members. Good morning. Here's Britt Marie. Okay, we have um, a review and looking for an approval um, of our April 5th, 2022 uh, committee meeting minutes. Any concerns or comments on the review? Great, hearing none. Looking for uh, a motion. Move to approve the April 5th minutes. A second. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Against and abstaining. I'm going to abstain because I wasn't present at the last meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. And again, welcome to our committee. We appreciate you. Um, we'll turn this to Michael to discuss the proposed policies. Thank you, Daryl, and good morning, everybody. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Yes, we can. Thank you. Um, so we had two policies that we would like to eventually share with the greater board, um, post for public comment and hopefully adopt. Um, both involve the refund process for contributions made to the authority. Um, there's one policy for employers and one policy for employees. Ideally, these would be included in the larger consolidated policy document that was adopted previously, as this is where we keep most of the policies that describe how the authority interacts with the larger public. I hope everyone received a copy of each policy yesterday morning, um, but please let me know if you did not. And I'd be happy to discuss in detail either policy, but at an incredibly high level, um, each policy essentially involves the payer reaching out to us and requesting a refund. In other words, it's the payer who initiates the request, um, not the authority. Based upon the reason for the overpayment of contributions, there may be specific documents needed or questions that need to be answered. And then once the authority has kind of received that completed request with all, all the necessary information, um, it'll make a determination as to whether there has been an overpayment of contributions. Mm -hmm. um, to do so, we may need to consult other um, sources, the Department of Labor data, DRS data, um, to confirm the accuracy of the information provided. But ultimately, if there is an overpayment and the authority determines that is the case, um, it would make the payment back to the individual. As I said, that's sort of at a high level. Um, be happy to answer any questions or if there's any changes that are recommended from the committee. Um, but otherwise, we're kind of looking to share this with the larger board at the meeting next week um, and requesting that it be posted for public comment. So I'll stop there and kind of see if there's any questions. Thank you, Michael. And um, I know you did send us the two policies for everyone's review, so thanks again. Next, we'll be with Aaron to talk, um, provide an update on the private plan audit process. Good morning, Daryl, and thank you. So Michael, Amber, and I are continuing to work on developing the um, specific procedures that we are going to test run for the private plan audits, including the sort of sample documents and um, candidly, we have been a little bit busy this month um, in April, so we haven't moved as quickly as we'd hoped, but um, are looking to start um, doing the dress rehearsals before the end of May so that we can test our assumptions about what um, documents we need and how to do it. We're also thinking about the possibility of um, as we've described in the past, there's really four areas of audit in terms of compliance with the application process, compliance with 
the contributions, compliance with the claims, and compliance with just sort of financial solvency. So um, we're thinking about how we can break those apart and kind of hit more of our private plans, perhaps by doing kind of a broader survey with the um, applications and then like a different group to do the contributions. So that's instead of kind of devoting all of the resources sort of for the four topics per plan. Um, so we think in the future, we'll be doing a combination. So we're just figuring out which is the most which is the most likely to give us the best information right now. So that's kind of what we're working on. Any questions? Just have one question. Do we have a target date on when we uh, plan to start auditing? I know we're going through the process with beta testing, but I mean, is there a goal by January 1 or September 1 or? Um, we would, so our goal has been to do the beta testing sort of in May and June so that we can kind of get the kind of final doc, you know, test the assumptions, finalize the documents, and then put them out for public comment in the fall. So that's, that's kind of what we've been kind of working toward. Sorry. Thank you, Michael. Any other questions for, with Aaron? Okay, moving on to old business. Any old business? Any new business? Okay, and we're up for adjournment, believe it or not, at roughly <laughs> 9.23, looking for a motion. A motion to adjourn and set a new record. I'll second it. Very good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. 923 adjournment. Have a good morning, everyone. Thanks. Good morning. You too. Thank you, everyone. Bye.